Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Prey. So it's the Predator prequel, which is kind of cool. Um, it's the origin story, I guess, of Predator when it first came down uh, to Earth 300 years ago. And a, a skilled warrior fights to protect her tribe against one of the first highly evolved Predators to land on Earth. And at first, I, you know, I saw this on, uh, you know, social media stuff, and they talked about Amber Midthunder. I guess that's what you say it. And I thought this was like her first movie. Now I pull it up, and I'm obviously not. I've seen her in numerous things. Um, Hell or High Water, Princeless. She's on the TV show Roswell. She was in Ice Road, Bloodfather. Um, just some of the movies I, I recognize her. So I didn't think I was going to. This is on Hulu, by the way. 7.2 uh, on IMDb. Over 101,000 people have rated it so far. So I know. Not many people are going to watch this review because you've all seen the movie already. But if you did, thank you. I'm going to get into it. Predator history for me, I mean, I've seen them all. There's multiple, right? I remember the original stuff. Um, and then then they had that space one. i got to remember what that was. I've seen them, but you know how uh, you probably don't because you don't watch me all the time. But I always forget from movie to movie. I'll watch this movie tonight. I'll go out with my friends or somebody else will be like, What's the last thing you've seen? I'm like, hold on, i got to look. Oh, I saw Prey last night. What'd you think? Well, I decided to record a video about what I thought. You should go check it out. <laughs> no, I don't do that, but I do forget. I forget what I thought of the movie. I've, oh, I gave it a six. And then, you know, so anyway. All right, that's it. Once I do these, they escape, and I'm ready for the next one. Rambling on, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Prey. No check-ins tonight. I mean, what else is there to say? Um, what I felt was, you know, a movie full of action, right? That's what you expect with any Predator movie. But that's what it was. It was like any other Predator movie, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, basically, the Predator is there, as we know, comes to Earth. Seems like his parents dropped him off. <laughs> and it just happens to be at the, you know, 300 years ago, whatever, where there's, uh, you know, the Comanche tribe, and there's some, some you know, colonists, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's it's making its rounds and figuring out what Earth is and, and disrupting, you know, the peace and harmony that they had, um, you know, in their land or whatever. So, but... Uh, what it does have, which kind of separates it a little bit, I mean, the time period obviously separates it, but um, what it does have is a strong female lead, um, as I had mentioned. Uh, I thought Nara was her name, and, uh, you know, she wants to be a hunter, like her brother, and provide for the family. She doesn't want to be like a uh, housewife or whatever it would be, and, uh, you know, so she wants to go out and prove herself, and comes across this thing that is bigger than a bear and has to, you know, prove herself. And that's really so, you know, you're seeing the predator just basically tear through everybody um, like a predator would, using all of its technology and everything that it can against, you know, primitive people. Um, but, so that build up, it kind of, again, you see it, you know, it's, you've seen that in other predator movies, everybody hunting them. He's just better than everybody. You know, it was like, eh, you know, until we get to the end. And uh, so it was worth it to ride through that whole piece and then and, and see it at the end, I think. Um, that's just my thought. Um, I enjoyed that aspect of it the most. I felt um, the rest of it was par for the course, but if you stick around and wait, wait it out, I think it's well worth it, so, I don't know, not much else to say, very low on dialogue, heavy on the action, as you can imagine, um, but was fun, and worth the watch, especially being that it's on Hulu, the fact that Hulu made this, and 101 other, 101,000 other people have rated it so far, so, one quick thing, real quick, just a line in the movie that kind of threw me off, they are Narwa has an axe and she has a rope tied to it so she can bring it back. If she throws it, she can bring it back. She can do whatever she wants, you know? And one of, um, somebody in her tribe, a, a, a male Indian, makes fun of her and says, you have a leash 
for your weapon. Now, really, did they call them leashes back then? You know, there's a dog and stuff like that. That was, yeah, they kind of threw me out. Did they, when was the term leash invented? I would think that's more of a present day thing. They don't really keep their dogs on leashes. In, in, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm sorry I'm picking that out. But otherwise, um, it was pretty good. So there you go. Um, I'd probably give it a six. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Come on, Irish Pub.